Monster Rancher. For some reason, I get this game mixed up with Monster Hunter, but this is Monster Rancher, so I gotta remember it's Monster Rancher. I'm probably gonna fuck up and call it Monster Hunter. Now, this is a game I never played until working on this review. I never really had an interest back in the day. Back then, I was playing a lot of first-person shooters, platformers, and that type of stuff. And when this game first came out, I didn't have a PlayStation. Not only that, I always thought it was a Pokemon ripoff. Well, here it is in 2020, and it's time to review this game. Monster Rancher was developed and published by Tecmo and was released on the PlayStation in 1997. It didn't have a PC or Nintendo 64 release. Monster Rancher is a simulation type of game, a monster raising game, or monster breeder type of game, if you want to call it that. In this game, you raise a monster and it will battle in tournament, and you become the greatest breeder of all time. In some aspects, it's like a life simulation type of game. Now, Monster Rancher is a bit of a unique game, and the reason I say that is this. From every music CD you own, as well as PC games, 3DO games, and so on, pretty much anything with metadata, you could put that in your PlayStation, and it will create a monster that is based off the metadata. Sadly, I can't show you that because I am playing this game on a PlayStation emulator, but now that makes me want to buy this game and give it a try. Of course, there are monsters you can get in the game no matter what, and there are 12 basic types. The common types are dinos, golems, suezos, hares, tigers, gallus, worms, gels, pixies, plants, and more. Some of them can be combined to create a new monster with a main type and subtype, and these are determined randomly. Once you have a monster, you raise it to battle other monsters, and there are RPG-like stats to make your monster better. Not only that, your monster can do chores to earn in-game currency, as well as winning fighting tournaments. Some of the chores are taking a cart, I'm guessing from market to market, hunting, farming, and all that cool shit. Plus, it gives your monster more power, strength, defense, and so on. Speaking of battle, you can pick what attack or whatever move that your monster knows. I say it's pretty similar to Pokemon. You cannot directly control the monster or anything like that. The graphics for Monster Rancher for its time are all right. The game is colorful and the monsters look good. Some are a bit bland looking, but that isn't a bad thing. I don't think they were trying to be in depth as Pokemon or Digimon type game. With that being said, it's not a flaw to me. The game doesn't glitch or slow down. It runs very smooth even in battle, at least for its time. I like how your monster moves around on the main screen, just wandering around looking like an idiot. The animations of them doing the chores is nice. Just shows a little screen, comes up with a cool animation. Almost 16-bit like. Really no complaints about the graphics. The music? I really enjoy it. It's very well composed, ranging from the title screen music, the music at the main screen with your monster. It's all upbeat and happy sounding. The battle music is very well done. Is it the greatest music I've ever heard in a video game? No, but it's damn good. The controls are very simple. You're going to go through a lot of menus and all that type of stuff. You also control what you want your monster to do in battle, like I mentioned earlier, and that way you pick the attack and so on. It's very simple to understand and they respond very well. It's kind of a damn shame you can't walk your monster around or some shit like that, or even do the chores yourself. That would be cool. I can't think of one person that would have issues with these controls. Monster Rancher is pretty fun, very time consuming, and you can put many hours into it. But remember, this is a simulation slash life sim style slash animal breeder game with some RPG elements to it, and it's a monster battle type of game. The gameplay is simple to understand and fun. The graphics are enjoyable for its time. The music as well as the sound effects are good, and the controls are very well done, simple to understand, and responsive. A game like this is not for everyone. A lot of grinding to make your monster a badass and to beat the shit out of others is going to happen. But if you want to play it off and on, come back to it, spend a few hours here and there, whatever, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I wish there was some other things you could do in this game, like I mentioned, have a bit more control, but that isn't a huge flaw to me. Either way, I like it, and if you want to play Monster Rancher for yourself, it is 72% rare, so it might be a little tough to find, but prices on eBay are not the worst I've ever seen. They're around the $30 range. A complete version goes for $34.99, $38 and prices in between. Could it be cheaper? Yes, but for how rare it is, I can't say that it's too bad. It was released on the Nintendo Switch in December of 2019, so you can get the game on that console if you have a Switch. Now, Monster Rancher also had a cartoon, or should I say anime, that was shown on Fox Kids and Fox Family. It was on from April 1999 to September of 2001. It had 73 episodes. I never really watched much of it as a kid, never was a big fan of it at the time, but some did enjoy it a lot. Of course, there is quite a few games in the Monster Rancher series across home consoles and handhelds, ranging from Monster Rancher 2, Monster Rancher Explorer on the Game Boy Color, Monster Rancher Battle Card Episode 2, Monster Rancher Hop About, Monster Rancher Battle Card GB on the Game Boy Color, Monster Rancher 3, Monster Rancher Advance, and Advance 2, and I'm sure you can guess what handheld that was on. Then there was Monster Rancher 4, Monster Rancher EVO, both of those on the PlayStation 2, and then the last game, Monster Rancher DS on the Nintendo DS. I'm kind of surprised there hasn't been 
any on the Wii, Wii U, Switch, and even on the PlayStation 3, and so on. I think a new game would do all right, maybe not here, but more so in Japan, and maybe there is one out there. But I think if there was a PC release, since life sims or simulation type games do pretty well, I think it would be a seller. Maybe later on in the future, who knows? I personally wouldn't mind picking the game up. I hope you enjoyed this review of Monster Rancher on the PlayStation. Thanks for watching.